Hello everyone, Star Wars RJ here. It's time to the scales another game of Neverwinter Nights 2. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Master the Betrayer. Oh, that's right, yep. Anyway, so, last time I woke up in some mysterious barrow and had reduced strength and I killed some wolf creature with some strange eldritch entity thing and now I'm fine. Now I'm totally fine. Feeling much better, in fact. So, so chipper and up, up, up and out in the ways of the warrior and killing things that, I don't know, I feel fit as a fiddle. Uh, no hellfire blast. Aha, eat acid! Yeah, so now I've got to find out what's going on and kill things and kill anyone in my path. And kill a lot of things in my path. Uh, I want to kill that thing in my path, thanks. So yeah, um, about a few things about Master the Betrayer, it's awesome, like, the campaign, the campaign was good enough, but Master the Betrayer is, um, even better, alright, it's better all around, better storytelling, better, um, better crafting, how the game works and stuff, and, um, all sorts of things, okay, and, um, I really, do, I really just don't like that mod where Sophia has hair, okay, she's supposed to be bald, all right. More Emiskari ruins. This area must have been uncovered by accident, like the other one we saw earlier. Yeah, she's meant to be bald. I don't know why she's um. I don't know what mod has done it. Because I don't download. I don't remember downloading a specific yes. a specific give Sophia hair mod. I downloaded hair mods. I downloaded clothing mods, but I didn't download a mod in particular that gives Sophia a, a, a hairdo. Okay. It's part of her law. Red wizards are supposed to. We're making progress toward the surface. It shouldn't be much farther. How are you faring? I trust your limbs are no longer numb. I see. Do you often find yourself waking up in strange lands with unexplained injuries? No. I'm sure you hear that question all the time. No, I don't actually. Um. <laughs> There's all sorts of options I can choose here. <laughs> Drinking a shadow to drink a veil. Um, um, I'll go number two. Never winter. This country, Rashomon, is countless leagues east of the Sword Coast. Unless you've lost months of your memory, you no doubt arrived here by means of magic. When we're free of this barrow, we can look for clues as to how you got here and why. Um. Um. Hmm. <laughs> this is a change of place. You're surprisingly <laughs> comfortable with all of this. I was expecting. Um. <laughs> a lengthy series of what's going on questions. <laughs> I was going to say I was expecting that you might not be willing to trust me, given the circumstances and the color of my robes. Let's be on our way. The longer we stand idle, the greater the chance that the spirits will find us. Yeah, voice. Voice that her voice suddenly changed from from a much more casual tone to a very echoing tone. Yeah, what the uh, uh, mouse? Yes. All right. So I'm going to equip it with some roads, even though they don't actually they don't actually help protect you that more than anything else. It's better than what she's got yes. currently, which is nothing. What do you want? And I got this breastplate on, which I don't like, but it happens with a mythical chain shirt. It's got to work. You got to work with what you've got. Now these things are immune to critical hits. Maybe I should have switched out to the spear. To the frost harpoon. Because we're whalers on the moon. And we carry our harpoon. But there ain't no whales, so we tell tall tales and sing a whaling tune. Let's do this thing! Hey, uh, Leroy Jenkins! Yeah! Leroy Jenkins! Oh, and also... If you keep, as the battle perk com, comes along, you're supposed to open that door, but it's locked. But, the bad guys will tear it down for you. They'll tear down the doors between, prop, between the, um, between areas. Oh, nice disintegrate there, Sophia. Very nice disintegrate. Yeah. So, I'm not really, like, I'm, not, like, I'm a big, I like Sophia's character, but, if I was playing as a male character, I don't really like her as a love interest. Yeah. 
So, you know, putting, giving her some hair and giving her some robes like that, it's not going to change my... It's not going to change that either. It's not going to make me go, Oh, man, she's suddenly so hot now! It's not, actually, it's not a case of that. It's more like, you know, just that... There's another character I actually prefer. <laughs> even though... You know... Even though she's crazy. Crazier. You know, the uh, theory of hotness versus craziness. She can be as equally hot as long as she is crazy. <laughs> as long as she isn't too crazy. If it's too much of a if it's too much of a craziness, then I don't know. I haven't actually listened to that theory very much. Just know there's a certain a certain scale of you know hotness versus craziness. Yeah. Anyway, back to this one. For a male character, this is also for a female character. This is also this is um, another love interest, which I can agree as yep, yeah, I can see why he can be a love interest. Cause yeah. The tunnel was clear when I passed, now it's sealed itself shut. Hmm, um, spirits block out the tunnel? Many spirits reshaped the soil and blocked the way. Is there another way out? Okay, all the other tunnels ran down. The ruins were all dead ends. So if we damage the soil, if we damage that damage the door, it's not going to ha happen. It's going to be immune to our damage, and it's just going to keep regenerating. How long can they maintain it? As long as they want. So what do you suggest? They have rituals. Uh, they're trying to kill me. Why they want to um, accept an offer from me? <laughs> Expecting logic. <laughs> hmm. If I smash the bones of a dead bear. All right. So there's all sorts of things you can do here to get to get through this cavern. All right. O option one. Okay. Option one is to um, smash this boar skeleton. Yeah, this bear skeleton and release the angry spirits, make everyone angry. You can throw an offering in the offering bowl. Or there's an uh so there's a spellcraft. Strike the barrier. <laughs> Nothing happens, of course. Uh strike the rod with the Mascari rod. BAM The Rod broke, no doubt, because you misused it. Am I correct? Man, I, gotta, I should not do that one. Uh, who are you? I am High Artificer Merrick of Inrepress, loyal servant of the Purple Emperor, and you, it seems, are a thief. Explain yourself, thief! How did one such as you come in possession of the Rod? How did you defeat the wards in my tower? We're not in Inrepress. I found the Rod in the ruins below this barrow. Ruins? Barrow? Enough of this nonsense! I must return to my tower and resume my work! Uh... Ain't any tower still standing? Of course it still stands! I built it myself, after all! Yes, and you're invaluable because you've been programmed to be invaluable! Yeah! That makes perfect sense, you know! Hey! Why not- I got an idea! Why not check?! And he teleports away. We'll see him later. Much later. Okay, I think it's time to switch back to the, um, to the, to the sword. Yeah. Just so I can get the critical hits in. But yes, the, uh, Maestro's Blessing sword. Like, if I'm going to get Maestro's Blessing on a sword or something, I should definitely wait till, um... Definitely wait till I actually can craft my own sword. Which shouldn't be too hard, because Sophia, over here, has... Ooh, she's good at crafting weapons. Not good at crafting armor, however. I think there's someone else for that one, though. I think someone else... I think the, um... There's a party member that's good at crafting armor. Looks like we're approaching the surface. Because there's tree roots here. That's gotta tell you... That's gotta account for something, right? No, don't throw the fireball here! Eh, never mind. <laughs> I'm actually going to set her behavior. Her behavior to... What's the spell casting mode? Eh, overkill's fine. Just don't use up all your spells <laughs> in the every encounter. But again, it's like a big, there's a big boss fight coming up, which, um... Which, yeah, it's a big boss fight coming up. Which... You know, I rest up anyway, before the big boss fight anyway. Just 
you know, it's common sense. You rest up before the boss fight. I don't, I don't want to rest in this, in this cabin because you rest for like, you know, you rest for like, you know, eight hours. You're in this dark cave for eight hours. You just go like, oh yeah, let's go rest in this dark cave for eight hours. You're kind of in a hurry to get out of here. That's the way I see it. You're kind of in a hurry to get out of here. No time, no time to rest. Just meditate. Just meditate and, cons and, and consider your next move. That doesn't make much sense compared, but hey, I'm not on the right of the story here. I'm just trying to interpret it as the way I want to interpret it. And as you can see, the golem actually, actually, oh, I should have upgraded the golem. Really should have went back and upgraded that golem. Oh, and more, more spirits here. Oh, and thanks, you just blew up, you blew up the ancient wooden chest, which... ...doesn't really matter too much, because if, even if it does break, there is no items in there that are, that are actually breakable. No, the golem's gonna die! If um, the golem can be hit in the first place. Ah, the things about high, high dexterity. And I need blind. I need. I need blind fight. Yeah, I, I need the blind fight ability. Seriously, that is ridiculous. Just how many times you can miss a target just because it's slightly concealed. Jeez, come on, guys. Uh. Now I'm gathering all these essences here. Okay, what's supposed to happen yes. is, is, is a thing called the Shaper's Alembic, yes. which allows me to um, combine these together into smaller, into, into more, much more potent spirits. Problem is, the mod doesn't spawn them. Yes. I don't know what's up with this mod. You'll you know, I have the same thing about Fallout 4 mods. And I don't know how much items, I don't know any of their functions, so throw it off to the person who does know what their function might be. Yes. Which is... Eh. Naturally, the golem can't equip anything. Yes. Because, you know, it's a, it's a machine. It's... Just, it can't, it can't equip anything. What it can do is meditate. I say yes. It can meditate and consider its next move. But yes, I know the quote, mediate. We shall mediate and consider our next move, but... Come on. Meditate here. Now, what I could do is unequip the armor, then use my spells, and then quickly put the armor on. You can't do that. No, That's, you can't do that. It's impossible. And actually, they spawn behind me. Thanks, game. Just spawn, just spawn enemies behind me, will you? That's totally fair. And we got a Wolverine here, and it's not, but. It's not, it's not a dangerous Wolverine. I mean, I, I'd be scared if it had, had, like, you know, dual Vulcan cannons or something. But, you know, it's just a regular Wolverine. Now, dual Vulcan cannons, or we're a bunch of, we're a bunch of teenagers with um, Russian weaponry. I'd be scared then. But, no. It's just, you know, a regular Wolverine. That's somehow a spirit. It's Telthor Wolverine. Yeah, I should explain about the Telthors. They're spirits, essentially. <laughs> there you go! I have now explained about the Telthors. They're like spirit elementals. I think. Now, this, um, this thing doesn't actually work. We're not getting critical hits on these people. Somehow. Yeah, okay. That's it. Frost Harpoon, then. Alright, so... I just found out. Nope, you can't. You can't get a critical hit on these people. On these things, uh, Kaji. While this is happening, you go unlock that chest. Just run out there. Run in there. Kaji will get stronger as the um, game progresses. Like as as Sophia advances in level, Kaji will also advance in level. So that's how um, familiars work in D and D. They get stronger. As the, uh, as the wizard gets stronger. Ooh, an arm, piece of armor. Hey, Sophia, you're in the middle of combat, but can you identify this armor for me? Ah, yes, it's a Shroud the Leopard. Thanks, Sophia. 
That's a travel weapon. Yeah, great, thanks. <laughs> mm, maybe I should wear this one. It's light armor, so it's not going to affect my... Yeah, it's not going to affect my spell casting, so... Probably means I can start spell casting. Can I swap about yet? Yay, switch up. I'm now wearing, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm wearing. <laughs> but it looks weird. Yeah. Definitely gonna get myself some better armor. Because Shroud the Leopard is not that great in comparison. In fact, I should actually compare the armors again. Oh, and Sophia leveled up. I'll level up after the, um... There's a boss fight coming up shortly, which means maybe I should actually level her up. Because, you know, leveling up is important. Yes. Kaji? Open yes. the gate. What do you want? <laughs> wow. Triggered. Trigger warning. Yes. That's what you can say about traps. Trigger warning. This thing is trapped. Now, if you can't open it, I say yes. if you can't open the chest, you can always smash the thing open. Yes. Okay, I tell four yes. leg bone. Uh, no. So I'm going to equip this breastplate here. Nope, the breastplate's better, but I may want to cast things. Yes. I'm going to quickly level her up. Let's see. Now, I can't make her a red wizard. Can make her as a regular wizard or a frost mage. Now, this is interesting. Frost mage is, um, you know, modded thing in. It's, um, you know what? Screw this. <laughs> Screw this. Screw cross classing. Okay, we're just going to do that. Lore is fine enough. We're going to make her tumble a lot better. Okay. Now, as a uh, wizard, she's a wizard, Harry. What you can do is find out what actually is needed. For example, toughness is always needed. Yeah, toughness is always needed. Time stops. Okay, time stop. And Mordekainen's dis dis Disjunction. That, that is actually a good spell, okay? Like, I might say, hey, dispelling, I don't use the spelling spells a lot. I do. That is, that is actually a pretty good spell. Alright. A whole bunch of enchanted enemies come along. Just throw that, just throw that sucker on them, and, um, BAM! They're all dead. Let's see, meditate, meditate, meditate. I say yes. Yes. Alright, now, alright, boss fight's coming up, so, here we go. Here we go, casting that. Everyone's hasted. Let's roll. Yeah, here's our, two, here's our quest. Escape the Barrow, Petraeus Crusade, and the Dark Hunger. These will come into a horn as much later. Stop it! Leave me alone! Not here! And not now! What's wrong? Are you alright? <laughs> Thank you, but it's nothing. Look, the tunnel's angling upward. We're nearing the exit. Pass through a chamber on the way in here. There were bones. Bones of a great bear atop of a carved stone. The Rashmi say a god dwells in this place. An angry bear god who rules the Barrow. Rashmi tales are colourful, but they're always true in part. BE ON YOUR GUARD! Essentially this means BOSS FIGHT ROOM! BOSS FIGHT ROOM! That's right, mate. You're gonna get into a BOSS FIGHT! Here's how you do a BOSS FIGHT! Oh. What stirs the air and smells so foul? Go back and die in the silence and the dark. I'm tired and ill of temper. What? Uh, three. A strange notion of honor. You slay my servants, devour my loyal friend Nakata. Uh oh. Shit. I know what you are, little one. I smell the hunger that wakes in you. I don't care what you smell. You will not have her. Hey. What do you care, Thayan? I know your kind. You love your own lives above all else. You don't know me. 
But I know your kind. I know that your present form, for all its color, is only a shadow of your true self. And I've shaped and bound far greater things than you. And I smell a wild storm in you, Thayen. Does your ally know the secrets you hide? Grief and confusion beyond measure, and something more. Oh! Take Enough that! Words. By the oath I swore, neither of you will leave my den. Okay, well, boss fight. Essentially, Oku is um powerful. He's a bear. All right, all right. Uh, Step up to the fight. Yes. Bring him down. So let's see. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't use Meteor Swarm. That'd be a stupid idea. No, that'd be stupid. I'm carrying the Orglash Crystal. Uh, let's see. Disintegrate, then. Disintegrate will work. Yes. And I'll cast Dark Premonition. Alright, I'm at the forefront. Haha! -ha, I'm... Disintegrate! Ooh, nice. Nice cast. One, two, three, four. Five. Nice cast. Seriously, that was, that was a good cast. Of, and uh, of course, once Oka takes enough damage, he suddenly decides that, you know, well, shoot, it's time to. It's time to call for the spirits for my, for my, for my aid. And then, of course, I run into Gangs of Sophia. That, that works. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I lied. Uh, I don't want to cast on a specific unit. I want to cast on... Oh, that's right. you got to kill the spirits in order to... Um, to... Yeah, you can't really do much damage to Oku unless you kill his spirits. His spirit allies, so... Destroy his spirit allies, he gets weakened. Uh, yeah. So... Yeah. And I have no way of reviving her. Oh, actually, yes, I do. Quick! Ready yourselves! Oh yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks! Just, well, thanks, frickin' Wolverine! I just spent a coin of life reviving her, and what do you do? You just knock her down again, bastard! Yeah, come on, come after me, come after me! Yeah, so... That's what happens is, is that, yeah, stuff like that just, ugh. She needs a ring of regeneration or something. Okay, so I use, use the one healing kit. And anyway, so Oku's been de been defeated. And he drops a pristine power essence in his um, defeat. Okay, so I guess it's time to move on, is it? Wait a second, there's still a chest left! And it's got a great axe! That's a great axe! Yes. Let's see. Electrical. Ooh, 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 ooh. Forget this rapier. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Ha 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 Look at this axe! Man! <laughs> Let me axe you something, huh? Yeah, let me ask you something. Oh, I like that. Let me ask you this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Wait a second. Let's talk to Sophia for a second. Let's be on our way. Nope. The longer we stand idle, the greater the chance that the spirits will find us. Okay, let's uh, get in the mix. Let's get a move on. Let's get out of here. To the world map. The world map is an interesting thing. Okay, it tells you how many days it will take to travel. This is important. Like, doesn't seem important now. It will seem important later, and it gives you a rough idea of where you might be on the world. Of course, right now I'm in the uh, Rashmi Coast, so no Neverwinter here, and it's not a um, isometric map. It's a 2D map, so it's actually much more accurate. Let's go to the only place I can go, Wilson Tier. It's where Sophia wants me to go, so we shall go there.
just ahead of us stand the gates of Malsantir. You've been eviscerated, paralyzed, assaulted by spirits, and subjected to countless leagues of walking. How are you feeling? Looks like a Monday! <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. It's a Monday. Um... We can seek out an inn or flop house within the city. Flop when you're house. feeling ready, we should pursue this mystery of yours. I've brought you here to speak with Lyanna. She'll hopefully know what happened to you in the Barrow, and why. And how? I mentioned Lyanna before. How, who is she? Lyanna is an associate of my mother, or so I've gathered. I've never met her or even heard of her until I was tasked to bring you to her. Hmm. That's weird. Um... Whoever Lyanna is will soon find out what she knows. Though I did send ahead a pair of servants to find her, and they have yet to return. Uh-oh. Doesn't sound good. Homunculi. Sentient creatures crafted by my magics. Sort of like me, only they're not as smart or as good looking. Much like Kaji, only these were more primitive creations. It would not surprise me if they got lost on the way. Hmm. Homunculi. Well, as long as I don't pursue a philosopher's stone, I'm fine. Uh... Hopefully Leanna can answer that. I was instructed by my mother to retrieve you. She told me little else. Yeah, but what about those voices in your head? I think I... I think I need to avoid spirit-infested barrows. The chatter of the dead isn't meant for mortal ears. Let's just keep moving. Yeah, you're very evasive, aren't you? Nothing more to it? Well, I was in a barrow full of spirits. If ever there was a breeding ground for the inexplicable, we were in it. Are Just a matter sure? of spirits having some fun at the expense of the living. No need uh -huh. for you to interrogate me on the matter. Oh, I might have to interrogate you further on this matter. Uh... She merely gave me the task to find you. She did not tell me why. As the headmistress of my academy, she is often too busy for explanations. Hmm. If you're implying that I get special treatment because of my mother, I can assure you, my rank as an instructor is entirely earned and not some token of inheritance. Yeah, I can, I can understand that. Uh... And what exactly do you mean by that? Um... Uh... Uh... I assure you I'm not soft, but I understand that you didn't mean to insult me. Now, if there's nothing else, I think we should go and find Lyanna. Alrighty then. So, um... Wait a minute. <laughs> uh... Rashomon's cold winters and unforgiving landscape have crafted a folk that are... Well, amusingly enough, cold and unforgiving. Like Russia. But this is my first encounter with these lands. What little I know is based on rumors of crazed barbarians and the masked witches that rule them. Okay, actually, it's not like Russia. I mean, Russia would probably burn all the witches. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe Siberia. Or it could be, well, I wouldn't say Vikings, because, I don't know, the Vikings would be more, Ah, we're going to kill you! Hey, took the trade with us, guys? We killed you early, but, hey, we're here to trade with you now. Yes, and the Rishemi are not famous for their hospitality. They are especially distrusting of red wizards. Maybe it is right. While we're here, <laughs> it's best I don't show off my robes. Yeah. Should the locals grow hostile on account of my markings, their fear of red wizards will prove entirely justified. Was there something else? Yeah, that's not very... Like, These robes that. display my rank and affiliation as a red wizard, and the locals care very little for my people. As long as we're in Molsantir, I shouldn't display my red robes. Give me a moment to adjust my attire. Yeah, she's supposed to put on a disguise here. It she does. Yes. Yeah, she puts on she puts on a disguise, which doesn't really do much. <laughs> but there you go. You can just you can immediately get rid of the disguise. <laughs> it's supposed to cover up her head with a hood and all that, but yeah, and also the golem's gone. But anyway, so that was the uh, Spirit Barrow. I'm going to just grab a few things here, because uh, you'll need a lot of stuff. See, look, I've, only, I've finally started getting gold. Anyway, but I'm going to check the time. Uh, yeah, okay, that's it. Alright. So, up in Stars RJ, and I've tipped the scales in the favour of whatever. <laughs> Signing off. I like that.